Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Bala Sahib Khadekar and today in this video, I am going to explain you how to prepare for the design engineer's interview. There are many subjects that are covered during interview like engineering drawing, engineering materials, manufacturing processes, CAD proficiency, design of machine elements, strength of material. So in this video, I'm going to give you the important questions generally asked during interview. And I'm also giving the answers of all these questions. So take a pen and paper and note down all the questions. And in the comment section, tell me how was this session and which are those videos you want me to make. So some companies, they have the system like they will have a technical interview round, then you have to go for the model test. And after that, there will be HR session. Some companies directly, they will ask for the model test. If it is okay, then they will call uh, for the technical interview. Some companies, they will just have that technical interview part, no model test, and then HR round. And some companies, they will just have discussion type of interview. Just they will discuss about your activities, what you are doing, your qualification, your college, and related to your skills. And they will say when you are going to join our company. So sometimes our students, they're also facing such type of situations. So the first question, note down. Why second angle and fourth angle projection method is not in existence? I repeat. Why second angle and fourth angle projection method is not in existence? You have to write your answer. Next question. What are the different types of feet? Question is, what are the different types of feet? Next question. What are the different types of tolerances? Next question. What are the different types of tolerances? Next question. H8 D8 is dash feet. H capital 8 D small 8. H8 D8 is a dash feet. Next question. H7 T6, H7 T6 is dash feet. H7 T6 is dash feet. Next, H7 M6, H7 M6 is dash feet. Next question, value of surface finish value of surface finish n9 n9 is dash value of surface finish n9 is dash next question which standard is followed for gdn i repeat which standard is followed for GDNT. Next question. Datum is not required. Datum is not required for the following characteristic. Datum is not required for the following characteristic. Option A, concentricity. Option B, Cylindricity, option C, run out, and option D, angularity. I repeat, datum is not required for the following characteristic option A, concentricity, option B, cylindricity, option C, run out, and option D, angularity. Next question What is the difference between what is the difference between circularity 
and run out what is the difference between circularity and run out which geometrical characteristic is used for mounting surface next question in third angle method in third angle method left hand side view is drawn in third angle method left hand side view is drawn at the dash side of the front view i repeat in third angle method left hand side view is drawn at the dash side of the front view next question sheet size sheet size of a0 sheet sheet size of a0 sheet is dash next question draw the symbol of total run out draw the symbol of total run out next question flatness can be checked flatness can be checked by using dash that is the instrument name you have to mention flatness can be checked by using dash next question a line is parallel a line is parallel to the vertical plane and perpendicular to the horizontal plane draw top view i repeat a line is parallel to the vertical plane and perpendicular to the horizontal plane draw top view means you have to draw the top view of that line means you have to mention the answer next question what is fake dimension what is fake dimension and how it is provided what is fake dimension and how it is provided right so we'll start first question why second angle and fourth angle projection method is not in existence the answer is overlapping of the views many times this question is asked during interview next question what are the different types of feet clearance feet and interference feet these are the main two types of feet and other types are there they are we can say sub types like transition feet it is not a theoretic it is not a practical feet it's a theoretical feet what are the different types of tolerances there are two types of tolerances unilateral tolerance and bilateral tolerance next question h8 d8 is a clearance feet h7 p6 interference feet h7 m6 it's a transition feet next question value of surface finish n9 so n9 what is the value it is 6.3 microns next question which standard is followed for gdnt it is asme y 14.5 2018 that is the standard next question datum is not required for following characteristic option a concentricity option b cylindricity option c run out and option d angularity so the answer is cylindricity next question what is the difference between circularity and run out so circularity comes under form category and it is related to the fitment so one part is fitted inside another part so that is related to the fit 
whereas run out is similar thing but it is applicable for the parts which are in circular motion like shaft spindle gear next question which characteristic which geometrical characteristic is used for mounting surface so the answer is flatness next question in third angle method left hand side view is drawn at the dash side of the front view so the answer is left next question sheet size of a0 sheet is dash so it is 841 into 1189 next question draw the symbol of total run out total run out symbol there are two arrows like this right so this arrow and one more arrow flatness is checked by using dash so flatness is checked by using dial gauge next question a line is parallel to the vertical plane and perpendicular to the horizontal plane draw top view so the answer is point next question what is fake dimension and how it is provided so fake dimension means it's a manipulated dimension that is it's not a original dimension that is called as a fake dimension and how it is provided different different softwares different commands like in case of autocad you have to just double click on that dimension text and you can type another text if it is say katia software in drafting mode there is a option for fake dimension so if you are new to my channel subscribe my youtube channel share this video to your friends so they will also get benefited out of this and you can attend my free webinars the link is given below thank you